three minute game playing this white. So he'll block the center off, tuck in the knight. Just repositioning the bishop. Tucking through the center. Developing the knight, capturing. And X-raying through to the rook via the knight. Moves the rook out of the way, capture, opening up the center. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. And castling, king safety. So at this moment, the pawn is being pushed down, which is in front of their king, weakening their king area. Again, you have to prove it is a weak pawn by doing that. So we rep reposition our knight. The bishop has got a two on one at the minute on this pawn with the knight, but he does have two on one protection as well with his queen and his bishop. So we can't just go steaming in there. Moves the king. So again, a bit of a pretty strange move there. So we can capture the queen. So now we have a two on one on the pawn. So we can capture the pawn now. At this point, the opponent left the game. So it's not a major win, but it's showing a plus 7.8. So I suppose in a way it is a major, nice position for us, ready to get going, starting putting pressure up towards the king area. Um, because the bishop doesn't have anywhere to go it could come where, where could it go I mean it can go here it could just stay where it is because obviously if we take then it's an even exchange so we're not really that up could take the knight here what realistically would happen there it is showing plus 7.9 so it is quite high up the scale for us to actually gain advantages but even after the game I just sat there and thought well it could still continue couldn't they you know if they don't want to take just leave it there what would we do it's not our turn it's their turn so what what could they do could develop the white square bishop out couldn't they yeah, so let's say they brought the white square bishop out attacking our knight and if we then came here so then we'd get a two on one but he's still protecting with his rook so if we came here then his knight can't get in the game at the minute because he's getting blocked off so does he what do they do okay let's say they go for ooh, would they do it yeah let's say they're going like this just to disturb things and then they start pushing the pawn so that they try and get this pawn down so the bishop escapes. So at that stage then we grab and I suppose then they grab back and then would I take... I may just go here because his rook will be on in the file. Okay so it's fairly even Stevens. It's still plus six points. It's dropped down a point now from those com combinations. And would he be interested in doing that? Probably not. He might still take, but let's say he doesn't and he wants to get his knight into the game. Yeah, let's move it back. And then we go here, then obviously he's going to say, whoa, I'm not having any of that. So we're owning the file now. So we're fairly comfortable with that about getting the ownership of the file. We wanted the knight to get back into the game we would do something like this but then they can come across and defend the pawn which is but then they would lose their knight so that probably wouldn't take place yeah so it's pretty hefty for us yeah okay good game